I started playing the clarinet um, when I was nine years old. I was given free clarinet lessons in my then primary school. Um, and I had a very enthusiastic head teacher there who offered um, music lessons to all children who wanted to have them. Um, at that time, I played the recorder. Um, and I remember very vividly every assembly being played music um, when we walked in. I was always kind of like fascinated by um, the sound of an orchestra, the sound of music, um, particularly classical music. Um, and yeah, so I was offered clarinet lessons um, at the age of nine, and I didn't really kind of take it to it until a few years later, really. Um, and it just, I just started to enjoy it and, and um, was playing in my kind of local youth orchestra and then a county youth orchestra and then, um, developed to the National Youth Orchestra and things, so um, I was always just kind of looking out for um, getting involved in whatever there really was on offer. I first got into kind of contemporary music or new music when I was about 12. Um, I heard The Rite of Spring for the first time on um, Radio 3 actually and um, I was just completely blown away with it and, and had to kind of had to find out what it was um, there and then. Um, I remember ordering, ordering a score from the, the local mu music shop um, and then started kind of collecting um, CDs of composers who I didn't know um, and built up a collection and, and um, he was it was only until about I was about 12, 13, I started to kind of sketch kind of piano miniatures. I joined the National Youth Orchestra as a composer for my first year there in 2004 and um, started kind of writing in for um, larger forces and different instruments and kind of built up my um, kind of um, my, my musical language from from there really I'm often asked the question whether or not I'm a composer or a clarinetist. Um, I find it really frustrating, to be honest. I'm, I'm a musician. Performing is very much a part of who I am as a musician. I, I'm I, expressing myself physically through my instrument is something that I kind of have to do, as is writing the music that I can hear in my head as well. Um, it, it's just their part and parcel. Um, I don't necessarily see the two of them um, separated from each other. It's, they're, they're, it's very much kind of a, an intrinsic part of who I am as a musician. Echoes and Embers is a, a new piece um, I've just completed in the last kind of like week or so, um, but it's been on the, the boil for a while. Um, it's the first piece I've written since my last night of the proms piece, Sparks, which is a four minute, really energetic, um, virtuosic, kind of texture laden um, orchestral piece. Um, very fast, lots of energy. And I wanted to write something which was completely opposite to that so um, this piece kind of explores a, a more intimate relationship between the clarinet and the piano um, very very delicate sounds very delicate textures um, often only two, one or two pitches and lots of space and resonance um, for the clarinet to kind of speak within the piano